Welcome to WDD's Hotspot. I'm Mike Luciano, Associate Editor, and in this week's episode we have the Aquatic Lawnmower, two 3D printing robots working together, and Flexible Tablet is on a roll. One of the biggest issues pertaining to our environment is the amount of trash that finds its ways not just into our oceans but other waterways as well. In addition to trash, natural barriers like weeds and other invasive vegetation can also be problematic to bathers, boaters, and outdoor recreationalists like fishermen. Made by Cleantech Infra, the watercraft known as the Aquatic Weed Harvester acts like a lawnmower for the water by clearing large swaths of weeds. The machine is just as effective in clearing trash and other rubbish which could make it an effective contributor in the efforts to clean our waterways. The aquatic weed harvester is capable of clearing tons of waste each day, and the way it works is fairly simple. The watercraft uses a conveyor belt at the front of the machine that is lowered into the water. The harvester then cuts the vegetation in the water, after which it is stored on board the boat. Once full, the harvester returns to shore and unloads everything it has collected. The aquatic weed harvester is highly capable of cleaning anything from lakes and riverbanks to canals and any other routes congested with overgrown or invasive vegetation. One take for the last one! Right? When it comes to future construction, 3D printing appears as a popular choice. Singapore researchers have propelled that idea one step further by showing two 3D printing robots working together to complete a singular project. For device control, the team used ROS, and the planning and collision checks were taken care of by the testing environment OpenRave. In addition to working in tandem, the robot's mobility is also important to highlight. Small 3D printed parts may need to undergo on-site assembly in real-life scenarios. However, this process often carries with it weaknesses and complications. To avoid printing tiny pieces and assembling them later, the Singapore team used robotic arms on mobile platforms. This allowed the machines to work together on a large, single-piece 3D printed structure. For now, the team will continue improving the proof of concept, hoping to extend the robotic arm's reach and increasing print speed. Tablets have become a ubiquitous part of our gadget arsenal, right up there with smartphones and laptops, but the style hasn't really been updated since they were introduced. Canada's Queen's University is looking to change that with the Magic Scroll. The tablet features a flexible 7.5 inch 2K OLED touchscreen that rolls out around a 3D printed cylinder that houses the rest of the tech. The cylinder features a pair of rotary wheels that allows users to quickly scan on-screen content when the display is rolled up. The idea is that when the user comes across something that they want to read more about, they can unroll the magic scroll and use it like a traditional tablet. It also has a digital camera on one end and can be used as a mobile phone or voice recorder. The lightweight cylindrical form factor of the magic scroll is said to be easier to hold onto than a traditional tablet. Plus it can be carried in a pocket when not in use. The research team hopes that future versions will be rolled into something as small as a pen, making it even more portable. That's all for this week's episode. Make sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes at wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Jennifer Hooker. Thanks for watching.